Clarkston, Michigan, a 333-acre town with 191 years of history under its belt. The names of some of their athletes have put Clarkston High School on the map as a prestigious athletic program. While there are many storied programs, there is a newer program that is turning heads, Clarkston Lacrosse. Although it's just 23 years old, this program stands out among the top teams in the state of Michigan. But what does it take for this kind of reputation? Let's dig deeper and learn about Clarkston Lacrosse. Clarkston Lacrosse was founded in 2000. A new program brought new opportunities for student athletes. Brian Kaminskis was hired in the fall of 2005. Inducted into the Michigan High School Lacrosse Coaches Association Hall of Fame in 2019, Coach K brings experience that goes back to his time as an athlete. Well, I think the two sort of uh, married together while I was in high school. Um, I, I, I had been playing lacrosse uh, since seventh grade and uh, also playing football, alternate, alternate seasons. And it was sort of during the football season of my junior year, I, I kind of stepped back and thought, this is something I'd like to do, be a coach. Um, and it just sort of happened that as the next year went on that uh, I, had a, I had an opportunity to found a team at Troy Athens High School and, and did that. So. After coaching Utica Eisenhower, Troy Athens, and Bloomfield Hills, change was on the way. Well, I think, I think as a coach, you're always looking for maybe a different, a different angle or a different approach to, to, you know, sort of that next step in, in what you want to do and what you want to accomplish in, in your career. Um, after about five years at Bloomfield, I thought it might be time for a change to uh, look around, and I looked around at a couple different uh, schools, younger programs. That's, that's kind of what uh, I was really good at at the time, was building from scratch. I looked at Clarkston, I looked at Romeo uh, High School were the two main ones, and um, you know, I was brought here, given a tour, and when you see the facilities of the, of the high school and, 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 and the district in and of itself, it's hard to, hard to say no to that. Prior to the 2023 season, Coach K had a record of 242 and 45. Every sports team has a mantra throughout their history, and Clarkston Lacrosse has a strong focus on family, which paved the way for a unique term to represent the team, Ohana. How did that term Well, it's a long story. I actually credit our uh, one of our assistant coaches that, that has since left the program, no longer with us now, uh, Doug Montfortin. Um, he brought it to us. It Actually, we took it from the uh, University of Hawaii football team. A lot of people think it came from Disney and, and, and whatnot, but we, we took it from them. Obviously, it means family, uh, and it's just something that we've used for, you know, a good, good 15 years or so, and, and that we rally around. Coach K continues to show exemplary leadership and pushes his players to be the best they can be. In addition to the regular season, Coach K encourages players to keep up their skills during the offseason. The Cash Cows program is keen on building skills and sharpening lacrosse IQ. Last year, 2022's senior class, they were coached as 10-year-olds, uh, 9-year-olds, uh, by our assistant, uh, off our, our assistant coach, uh, our offensive coordinator, Connor Ward. So from when they were 10 years old, he took them all the way up through uh, their, their senior year. Uh, yeah, these guys, yeah, I would say, you know, 85, 90% of the guys that play for us here in the high school also play in the summer. I mean, that's, that's what it's designed for, to keep these guys together, keep the chemistry going, and, and teach. From off-season camps to preseason practices, the Wolves are pumped up and ready to go when it's game time. When the Wolves raise their sticks and yell, Ohana, these guys mean business. Now entering his 18th season at Clarkston, Coach K has seen plenty of teams over his tenure, each one more unique than the other. I feel pretty excited about it. Uh, you know, we've got, we, we're, we're returning a handful of players, uh, very key players from last year's team, you know, that, that went 17 and 1 in the regular season. I won a regional championship, so a lot of those guys are returning. A lot of those guys are, are in. Uh, our challenge this year is going to be taking some of these younger guys and kind of getting them up to speed, get a, getting them um, in line with what the older guys are doing, the returners are doing, 
and we'll get that done. It's, it's, it's a very quick season, but also a very long season. So what happens the first couple weeks in April doesn't bother us so much, as long as we're kind of preparing towards, towards May. But no, it's, it's going to be a good year for us. I, I, I really think that. Clarkston Lacrosse has seen plenty of memorable moments, but it starts with their core values. Favorite moments are interesting, uh, but uh, let me let me say it say it this way. So we, we have a saying that we really keep in the locker room. We, we don't bring it out often that um, you know we stand on the shoulders of those who have come before us, and which is another way to say everybody's accountable. Uh, and I don't care if you're a four-year letterman. I don't care if you're a captain. It, it really doesn't matter. Uh, if you're doing something wrong on the field, off the field, it's it's expected that our freshman that's been around for two weeks, you know, stops you and corrects you and fixes it and says, hey, you know, I, I get what you're doing, but this is the way we're supposed to do things. And that doesn't always go over easy, but, you know, everybody expects that, that of each other. So, um, you know, that's kind of our secret. Like, uh, if, if, if everybody's doing it right, then great. But if somebody's not, then, you know, that's going to get corrected. That's going to get done internally. On and off the field, Clarkston Lacrosse continues to make an impact. This impact ranges from their alumni base to the wider community. However, on one day in particular, Clarkston Lacrosse plays for something bigger than themselves. Game for a Hope is an all day event put on for the New Day Foundation for Families. They are a nonprofit organization that provides financial and emotional support for families affected by cancer. Run entirely by volunteers, Game for a Hope brings youth and varsity teams from Southeast Michigan to play lacrosse, and more importantly, give back to their wider community. How did Game for a Hope exactly get started, and how has it changed or grown over the past 18 years? So uh, when I first started here, one of my assistant coaches was actually my father, uh, and he had prostate cancer. And our, the other assistant coaches on staff said, hey, we want to do something. Not necessarily for him, he didn't, he didn't have you know, many needs like that, but you know, sort of in his name, if you will. So um, we started a fundraising effort. We underwrote the gate as coaches. We ended up donating uh, $500 to the Carmanos uh, Cancer Center, and it's grown ever since. Since that day, uh, since that first game, uh, we've raised over $200,000 for uh, the various charities that we've been partnered with. Soon enough, we will say goodbye to the seniors but the torch will be passed down where new players will take over the reins to lead the team. Uh, my plans are actually not to go to college. I'm going to be going straight to work in the electrical field with the jobs I already have lined up now that I've been working at for a couple summers now. Uh, I started playing lacrosse and I think it was sixth or seventh grade just because a couple of buddies of mine who I played football with were playing and I decided why not try it out. What age did you start playing lacrosse at? Uh, I've kind of been playing all throughout my life, um, but when I came here to Clarkson, I started about third grade. Uh, my favorite lacrosse memory would probably have to be, I mean, every spring break trip that we had. I mean, we just got out um, from spring break for this year, but um, every year is just so memorable and getting to spend time outside of lacrosse with the guys, um, it's just always such a great time to be out of there. What is your favorite lacrosse memory of being out there? Uh, it's got to be uh, last year being Lake Orion. It's a great memory of get redemption from uh, my sophomore year. Clarkston Lacrosse is a program where family, the team, and the community rally together. They continue to build their reputation on and off the field, and with many more years to come, the future is bright. So when we came here, we sat the players down at the time, and we said, listen, we want to turn this program into one of the top programs in the state and one of the top programs in the Midwest. And uh, it's not gonna happen overnight. It's gonna take some time and we're gonna continuously build a foundation that's stronger and stronger. And some of you will see it and some of you won't. You're gonna have to come back and, and, and as an alumni and sit in the stands and, and be part of what we're doing. Um, you know, so, so our outlook continues to be uh, growth and, and development and you know where we're at now. We're, we walked into this season uh, well regarded based on what we did last year and, and people are excited to see what we're going to do. And we expect to, to meet all those expectations, but you know, more importantly, it's, the, it's what we have you know, internally in the locker room for, for, for what we're trying to do. Um, and that is, that is just go out and be the absolute best product that we can be uh, you know, as, as individuals 
and then combine that uh, as, as a team. And, and if we can do that day in and day out, then it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a great year. It's going to be another building block for, you know, 24, 25 and, and on. This program has been known for many accolades and awards throughout its history. Although a state championship title lingers, hopes remain high for Coach K. So personally, I've coached and I've coached in a handful of state championships. We haven't pulled them out. Uh, we haven't done it here yet. You know, we've gotten to the semifinals, uh, won a handful of regionals, been in the quarters. I, you know, uh, quite a few OAAs. Um, at the end of the day, uh, you know. I've done this now for 30 some years. Yes, of course I want to stay championship. Of course I intend to coach in one and I intend to win one. But, you know, that's a byproduct of the process and it's a byproduct of what we've built here and what we'll continue to build, which is, you know, which is family, you know, the team, you know, the, the community. When all that comes together at the right time, that'll happen. And I'm, I'm not staying awake at night saying, well, it's, it's got to happen in 23 or 24 or 25, because it'll happen, it'll be there. That's the end result of however long it takes to get there. No matter if a player, coach, or contributor has moved on, Ohana is still a part of their mantra. Clarkston Lacrosse continues to evolve into a top program in Michigan and has many more feats to accomplish. Be proud of yourselves your team, and the colors you wear. And as always, go Wolves. Around them, run past them, whatever you do, outrun them today. Play smart, play fast, play hard. You're at home, gentlemen. Let's win this one. Love you guys. Oh!